Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. As you know, Ukraine is experiencing pretty severe power outages at the moment. We are trying hard to still release new episodes daily, but in case we won't be able to do so, be assured that we will resume as soon as possible and stay with us. Your support helps us to get through these hard times. My name is Artem and here is the news. For 275 days, Ukraine defends itself against the forces of the Russian invasion. The third day of massive power outages continued yesterday. As of Friday evening, November 25th, a capacity deficit in the Ukrainian power system remained at the level of 30% as it was in the morning the same day, reports Interfax Ukraine. According to the national electricity operator Ukrenergo, the phased renewal of the power system continues. Repair teams are working around the clock. The electricity is being supplied to household consumers. At the same time, Director General of the Tech Grid's power generation company Alexander Fomenko said that Kyiv is currently provided with electricity only for 30% of the need. He explained that it means that there will be light for 4 hours and no light for 8 hours. Fomenko believes that the current pace of recovery allows us to hope that the Ukrainian capital will enter the schedule of planned outages by Monday. Prime Minister of Ukraine Denis Megal said that in Ukraine all thermal and hydroelectric power plants were shelled by Russia. In his evening video address, the President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky informed that almost 12 million consumers were disconnected from the grid on Wednesday evening when Russia conducted the attack, while by Friday evening this number had been reduced to just about 6 million. He reminded that now, as before, it is necessary to save energy and not to plug in several powerful electrical appliances as soon as the electricity is back. Zelensky informed that so-called points of invincibility have opened throughout the country. Those are places with generators where people can charge their devices and warm up. At the same time, the president said that he is aware of the numerous complaints in Kyiv. There, only the points that are deployed at the base of the state emergency service and at the railway station are functioning normally. He said that as of Friday evening, 600,000 families have been disconnected from the grid in the city. Many key residents were without electricity for more than 20 or even 30 hours. Zelensky called on mayor's office to deal with the situation. Previously, residents of Kyiv shared on social media that points of invincibility near their homes, despite announcements, never worked in reality. Some didn't have generators, in others they broke down. France announced delivery to Ukraine of 100 power generators, reports Ukrainform. French Foreign Minister Catherine Colonna said that they will help the population of Ukraine survive while Russia wants to make winter a weapon of war. Germany also plans to deliver over 100 generators as well as 15 fuel oil heaters and 20 large batteries, reports European Pravda. The European Union is handing over 20 medium transformers, one large auto transformer and 40 generators to Ukraine. The European Commission is additionally working on the creation of new energy hub in Poland, which will allow receiving donations from third parties and help in their coordinated delivery to Ukraine. Assistance with energy equipment had been announced by the Latvian capital Riga, the Czech Prague and the USAID. The European Parliament, together with the European Association of Cities, launched a special initiative to collect generators for Ukraine. At the same time, US actor Liv Schreib is raising funds for generators for Ukrainian hospitals. Germany said on Friday that it is discussing with its allies Poland's request to send German Patriot air defense systems to Ukraine, reports European Pravda. Berlin offered war show the Patriot systems after a missile landed in Poland last week, killing two people. In response, the Polish defense minister asked Germany to send Patriot systems to Ukraine instead. Polish President Andrzej Duda repeated the request yesterday, saying that it would be better for Poland's security if they were on Ukrainian territory near the border. The German defense minister said on Thursday that the deployment of German Patriot systems outside NATO territory would require prior negotiations with NATO allies. In response, NATO Secretary-General Jens Stoltenberg said that a decision on such a deployment should be made by the individual countries. It just needs to take into account the rules that apply to end-users. The New York Times informs that the Pentagon organized a repair base for Western artillery weapons supplied to Ukraine on the territory of Poland, reports Ukrainska Pravda. According to the publication, U.S. defense agencies assess that a third of the approximately 350 Western-made howitzers handed over to Ukraine are out of order. 
Since it is problematic to repair artillery in the field, the New York Times writes it became a priority to the Pentagon's European Command, which created a repair center in Poland. According to the media, work on the restoration of weapons damaged in Ukraine has been carried out at the repair base for the past few months. The Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine banned the export of firewood due to its strategic importance for the heating season, reports Liga. According to the Prime Minister Denis Shmigal, this resource is the main type of fuel in the frontline regions and Russian attacks on the power system as a whole increase its strategic importance. If you like what we do and would like to tip us, you can now do so directly to our PayPal. Check out the link in the description to this episode for more details. And as usual, you can subscribe to our Patreon. In gratitude for your help, we will give you access to a series of exclusive episodes on wartime life in Ukraine. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.